Hi there, my name is Jay with CompuMatter. The purpose of this video is to teach you what I've learned in setting up Samba 4 as a, uh, an Active Directory environment on your server so that you can create file shares and, and shares of printers, users, whatever throughout your organization, um, your basic Active Directory domain control is set up. I've been struggling with this for the last month. I've tried to hire developers to walk me through that and to put in place the configuration files, the naming conventions like the smb.conf, the host name file, the etc. host file, the resolve.conf file, the kiberos.conf uh, file, the list of files and the necessity of naming conventions to be exactly right uh, seems to be endless and there's a lot of conflicting information out there. So I thought, eh, hire an expert. And this is how that went. Um, you can see the job on uh, Upwork. I posted one here. I posted one there. I posted some that I've deleted that you don't even see here. There's a draft uh, beyond that. Uh, LinkedIn, I've got that job posted there. I've gone to Craigslist, I've got three jobs posted here. <clears throat> and I've got more than that out there, uh, other freelancer websites where I've tried to find the right person who had the right knowledge, uh, and I can't find it. So I want to give a big shout out to this website, techmint.com, and this particular article. Um, it's from 2019, it's, so that's fairly recent, and they've done a great job of breaking it down, and a lot of what I've learned, I've learned through that site, um, or at least it's backed up other information that I found and was able to confirm, took some of the gray area out of a lot of things. Uh, you can see some of the documentation that I've set up on my own wiki uh, as I've tried to work through it. So now you're going to get the benefit of all that knowledge so you don't have to go through any of it. So to start this video, I'm going to um, purge us, purge everything that is Samba so that you know this is where you can start off. Uh, for right now, if I look at the Samba ADDC status, you can see it's loaded up. I'm going to run uh, an Ansible command, which you probably won't have the luxury of, but I'm just going to show you what's behind that command so, in case, so that you can do it manually. Uh, this is the purge. I'm going to remove all of these packages. Frankly, this one should never be in there anyway. That's an open LDAP um, library or, or um, command, and, it, and the new Samba doesn't use that, so that's got to go if it is there. Uh, we're going to remove the Samba SMBCONF, the KRB5CO. We're getting rid of everything. I'm deleting all of these directories, so, and um, I'm also going to ensure that uh, certain lines in the resolve CONF file, if present, are removed. So that should give you some help on purging your own environment, because you really need that to be clean. Now, that's me running the Ansible command. That's going to delete all those. All right, I didn't make you wait through the whole thing. We're going to come over here now to the ser server that we're targeting, and we're going to just look at that same status command, and you see nothing doing, right? Um, actually, the Samba directory, yeah, it's gone. The only reason it was still showing is because I personally hadn't exited out of it, but the Samba directory itself is also gone, okay? So now we're going to take this from scratch. I've got some notes to my left, so I'm just going to walk through these and you'll let you go for the ride. Uh, first thing that you want to do is set your host name. And we're going to use the host name as ADC1, which is the same host name that that website I talked about uh, used. I'm ultimately going to change this to something else, but it keeps things in step so and easier to understand. You can do this as well purge it and start with something else later if you wish, but probably use this just to make sure you get it done, get it done right. Okay, now we're going to take a look at our 
hosts file. And this is what I've done. Uh, I've got the IP address of the server. So if I run ifconfig, that's the IP address of this server on the internal uh, NIC. And then I prefaced it with ADC1, the domain name, then a space, then ADC1 again, which has either one of these should be responsive to that IP address. And then I've also plugged it in with the 127001 above it. So that's my settings there, which you're going to want to do before we move forward. Now we're going to want to re we're going to want to install some packages. These are those packages, so just go ahead and copy that right there. I'll say yes. Now the first question you're going to want to put in the domain name in capital letters. Um, you're going to be prompted for a total of three different names. The first one will be the domain name in capital letters that, that you're going to use. Obviously, you won't use mine. And this is a, uh, an accessible domain name from the World Wide Web. If you're locked off from the internet, um, probably doesn't matter. You just need to make sure your IP address doesn't point off site. Okay, and for this one, you can type in the same thing, but lowercase. And lastly, the same thing again, but lowercase. And you can ignore that error just as it tells you to do. This next one, however, was a little bit more concerning. And initially, I didn't have a, uh, a cure for it, but I eventually found out what it was. So we've done all that. Um, I'm going to stop the uh, services now by running this command. Okay, that stops everything Samba and Windbind and... Okay, and then we're going to disable those same services. And we use this command right here in order to do that. Just substituting stop with disable. Start at the top. Okay, and now we're going to provision our um, Samba domain. All right, so we're going to use this command for Samba tool to provision it. It first asks us for the realm. I will type in the same domain name in capital letters that I typed when that question was first asked of us on the previous command. The domain will leave as the default. It's the same thing without the extension. Uh, we're gonna, it is a domain controller, so we're going to leave it as DC. Just hitting enter. It is going to be Samba internal. You're going to want to hit enter on that to accept that default. This forwarder IP address, I have heard different schools of thought on this. Um, I am going to use the uh, Cloudflare DNS of 1.1.1.1. You can use Google. Um, you could even try using your own server's IP address is what this is prompting us uh, to use as a default. I have found that all work, but in practice, um, an, an expert that I know, his name is Daniel, a freelancer over in New Zealand, who I've got a lot of respect for, he said to go with this, so that's the way I'm going to go. Administrate a password. I've got that copied over here. We're going to enter that, and we're going to enter it again. Now, when I hit enter, I get an error. And it tells me that the realm was not specified. Um, and I've seen this before, and it's given me a lot of headaches. And it tells me, please remove the SMB file and let provision generate it. Well, I didn't put an SMB CONF file. Presumably, the provision did it. I don't think that anything else prior to this because, well, actually, the installation of Samba probably did that. So. If there's something I can insert into this, it's after you install Samba, but before you provision it, you want to go over here to Samba and remove this SMBCONF file. Okay, that's what's happened here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and provision this again. 
Nothing wrong with getting it cemented in as to why that cause and effect exists. Default, 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 IP address, password, and that's what you're supposed to get. You can ignore this unable to determine the domain SID. I've, I've researched the hell out of that. It's inconsequential. All right, so that's a, a positive response. That's what we want to see. Okay, next we're going to move the Kiberos configuration file to um, a, a safe place. We're basically renaming it uh, as initial. And then we're going to create a symlink from the Samba private Kiberos file and put it where the other one was. Now we're going to restart the Samba ADDC service and to get a status on that so we can see that it is actually running. We're good there. Control C. By the way, if I were to, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit more of that by reducing my font. I think you'll see some, yeah, you see some red lines at the bottom, inconsequential, don't worry about it. Everything's working fine. Okay, now I'm going to enable the Samba ADDC service. And that's synchronization, that's what, exactly what you want to see. We're going to verify that Samba and uh, SMBD services are running and things are listening with this command. And we've got a lot of good things happening there. I want you to pay a little bit of attention to this 389. Uh, that is listening on, that is the Samba LDAP server, and it is listening on our I, the IP address of the server that we're using here. Okay, we're going to run some tests now. Let me clear this. Start with this, and we've got positive information. That's what we wanted to see. We're going to edit our resolve CONF file and put some things in place there. Uh, one of them is the name server, which is going to be the IP address of this server. The next is going to put a search command in there with the domain name that we used elsewhere in lowercase and we're going to follow it up with the name server um, for, in this case, uh, Cloudflare. You can use 8.8.8.8 or whatever you want to use there. Okay, now we would reboot the system. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, our server is rebooted. We'll go ahead and SSH into that. Okay, we're going to want to look at that resolve file again and make sure nothing funky happened as often does with reboots. Okay, you see what happened. It got wiped out and we've got something else in there. So, um, there there are formulas for making sure whatever is in resolve.conf uh, stick. I've created a video on how to do that and I'll put a copy of that in the description area because that's a, uh, a pain in the you know what and you want it to be set permanently to whatever you have in mind and you don't want Linux wiping it out every time you restart and all of a sudden your your employees can't access your server. Okay, let's test some of these things by issuing some uh, some of the queries highlighted in that other website. We're going to ping-c3cmcmatter.com .biz rather. That gives us expected results. Those are good things. Hopefully you're getting the same on your domain. We're going to ping, same thing, but we're going to put the uh, ADC1 in front of it. Again, positive results, what we wanted to see. We're going to ping just the ADC1. ADC1, got it. Again, positive results. Now we're going to run some queries against the uh, Samba Active Directory Domain Controller. And these are some that bit me in the past. Okay, just type it in as you see it. Gives us a positive. Anything that's not an error is a positive. Believe me. 
I've had plenty of errors. Okay, just follow these one after another. Type them because if they don't work here, you're going to have problems. Okay, that's a positive. Last one there is a positive. Okay, now we're going to verify Cabero's authentication by requesting a ticket uh, for the domain administrator account. So you're just going to type in knit space administrator at in your realm, which is in capital letters, and hit enter. Okay, so this was expected. I'd forgotten about it, but it is expected. And I've run into that in the past, and it stopped the train, and you it's like, okay, it's failed. You Google the hell out of it. You can't find out why it's failed. And stops the train, as, uh, as that missing SMB CONF earlier uh, stops the train, or I should say the one that was there that shouldn't have been there. So this is what turned out to be the cure for that particular issue. Restart Samba ADTC service. I'm going to up arrow twice and type the same command. Lo and behold, we don't get an error. It asks us for the password. Got it? Okay, and it tells me my password will expire in 41 days. I don't know. I have, I don't, I'm just glad that it's working. I don't know what, uh, what it would take to extend that out. We can deal with that another time. But right now, um, that is a ticket that's out there and has been requested. Now I can look at the result of that ticket. Hold on one second, which is KList. So by typing in KList, you sh it should give you uh, a feedback on how many tickets are currently outstanding. And you can see default principal, administrator at, and gives you some date time information associated with that. So that tells us it's working like it's supposed to. Okay, just to kind of show you that it's actually communicating and working, if I uh, go with Samba tool user list, it gives me a list of users that are currently uh, in the system. If I change that to group, We've got a list of groups in the system, and um, I don't know. Oh, hold on, let me clear this up. I got some mixture in there. Okay, so you can see it's talking um, to the to Samba to LDAP, and at this point, uh, presumably everything's working like it's supposed to. So, I hope that that helps you, especially those areas where it obviously trips you up, and um, get this gets you back on track. So, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.